All right, give this one a shot. This is a good practice one for uh, exponentials. We got nine to the n power. We're trying to find n times three to the five times 27 to the third power divided by three times 81 to the fourth power equals 27. Uh, you got to find n. Uh, you could pause it, try it on your own, and then we'll do it right now. All right, the first order of business, as you can see, we got a three, we got nine, we got 27, 81. The base is the same, it's three. And uh, really here is a good reference that you should know, uh, right? Three to the one equals three, three to the two or three squared equals nine, three cubed or three to the three equals 27, and three to the fourth power equals 81. All right, that's gonna be important because we want all of the numbers to have the same base, and then it's easy to uh, manipulate the exponents, okay? For example, nine is like three to the two, all right, and then that needs to be raised to the n power times three to the five, all right, which was in the equation, and 27 is like three to the three, or three cubed, and we want, uh, so we want three cubed to the third power, right, uh, and all of that is divided by three, uh, and it was times 81 to the fourth power, 81, as, as you can see here, to the right, uh, 81 is like three to the fourth power, so we have three to the fourth power and all of that to the fourth power, and that all equaled 27, and 27 is like three to the third power, all right? Now what we need to do, if you look at the numerator, which is the top of the left part of the equation, uh, we have uh, exponents raised to exponents, so we want to, uh, the order of business, we gotta do those first. So what we when we have like three to the squared, or three to the two to the n power, we multiply that, we don't add those, we multiply those. So that's three raised to the two n, and then times three to the five, and then when we have three cubed to the third power, we actually multiply the three and three, we don't add that, we multiply it. So three times three is nine, so that's three to the nine, uh, and then divided by three, and then we had three to the four to the fourth power, so we multiply the four and four to get 16, and all of that equals three to the third. Now what we need to do, when we have those uh, exponents, when we're multiplying 3 uh, to the 2n times 3 to the 5 times 3 to the 9, what we do the exponents is we actually add them together. Um, that's what we do when we're multiplying with the same base. Uh, so it would be 3 to the 2n plus 5 plus 9. And then on the bottom, we had 3 times 3 to the 16. 3 is just like 3 to the 1. So we would have 3 to the 1. Uh, then we would add 1 plus 16, which would be 3 to the 17. So, uh, and then all that equals 3 to the 3. What I would probably do at this point um, is I would cross multiply it. Um, on the numerator side, we have 2n, and then we had plus 5 plus 9. 5 plus 9 is 14. So we have 3 to the 2n plus 14 over 3 to the 17 equals 3 to the 3. And if we cross multiply it, you know, we, there's a one down there. Uh, now we cross multiply. We got three to the two n plus fourteen equals. And I'm kind of doing this a little slower than than you could probably do it. We have uh, three to the seventeen times three to the three. Just to illustrate it, we add the seventeen and three um, because it's not three to the seventeen to the third power. It's three to the seventeen times three to the third power. So we add seventeen and three. So then we get three to the two n plus fourteen equals three to the twenty. Uh, when we have this set up, when the bases are the same, we have 3 to the 2n plus 14. It's right over there, okay? 3 to the 2n plus 14 equals 3 to the 20. What we can then do is we can set up the 2n uh, plus 14 equals 20. So we have we set the exponents equal to each other. So we could add that, uh, we could set 2n plus 14 equal to 20. And then at that point, it's an algebra equation where we subtract 14 from each side. Uh, so we get 2n equals uh, 6, and then at 2n equals 6, we just divide 2 to each side, and we get n equals 3. If you want to get better, watch uh, this video right here to keep improving your skills. I promise you, you're going to get better.